A silent drone drifts across the desert sky, its shadow stretching over empty sand. In a distant command center, radar screens flicker to life, marking faint signals on the horizon. From the early years of remote war, the Predator lifted from dusty runways, its presence rewriting the rules of battle. The Reaper followed, carrying Hellfire missiles, striking with precision from beyond sight. Then came loitering munitions drones that linger, circle, and dive, turning themselves into the weapon. The machines grew smaller, slipping through windows and alleys, infiltrating cities unseen. Others became invisible stealth drones, gliding through forests at night, lights barely blinking. Swarms appeared, dozens moving as one, shifting formation like a living organism. At sea, naval drones skimmed the waves, shadowing carriers without fear or fatigue. But new weapons rise in answer. On desert ranges, lasers burn drones from the sky. Soldiers aim portable microwave rifles, pulses knocking targets from the air. Anti-swarm drills unleash walls of fire, shredding the sky, yet still some drones push through. Above civilian neighborhoods, surveillance drones hover their cameras, turning down toward daily life. In parliaments, heated debates unfold. Should machines decide when to kill? At dusk, a cloud of drones vanishes into high mist. The sky empties over the silent plain. Only the wind moves dust across the ground where they once flew. The sound of engines fades, leaving a heavy stillness. The question remains, in tomorrow's wars, will humans still hold command or will the machines?